it's my birthday today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing the boyfriend tag. Before I start, I have a confession. For those who are subscribed to my channel, I did not post a video last week. And uh, I did tell you why if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, because I did something so dumb. I accidentally deleted the video without realizing you're supposed to have a backup for your video. I use my phone for recording and for editing, so that made it very complicated for me. I don't have the equipment right now. Uh, I would love to have the equipment for that, but I unfortunately do not at the moment. So that's the reason why I did not post last week, and I'm very, very sorry for that. That was my fault. I take responsibility for it. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. You're a beautiful woman, isn't it? First. Hey guys. We've been together for one whole year. Tomorrow is actually one whole year for us, which is very exciting. If you hear a chirping in the background, if you look right there, that is Jasper. Hi Jasper. He is my bird. Say hi. He is very opinionated. He is. For those who are not on this channel as often as my subscribers are, he likes to... <laughs> he'll talk over me as I'm talking. If you hear that, just ignore it. I can't do anything about it. I'm going to be asking Ray a list of questions, and we're going to see how many he gets right. Oh, boy. <laughs> I have a total of 15 questions, and the last question I'm going to ask you, it's going to be a longer answer than the rest of the questions. The other questions are going to be pretty much just a simple answer. You ready? I am. Okay. Bring it. I'm going to ask him 15 questions. We're going to see how many he gets right. There is no punishment in the end of this video, obviously. It's just a simple question and answer. Of course, in the future, though, on other games that we play, there will be a consequence, like a pie in the face, or jump in the pool with your clothes on, or something. Question number one, where did we meet? We met at church. Very good. Okay, question number two, I'm watching Netflix, what am I watching? Oh, we all know friends. Either you watched my first video, or you're just really good. I just know you very well. Question number three, where was our first kiss? In my marshmallow car. Very, very romantic. Question number four. What is my favorite color? You have quite a few. You have, you like blue, you like purple, you like green, but out of those three, you like green. Question number five. What is my shoe size? Seven and a half or a seven. <sighs> That's correct. Question number six. We're at a restaurant. What am I drinking? Sweet iced tea. Question number seven, how tall am I? Five foot one. Yes, I'm really short. <laughs> I'm sitting on a pillow. You are? Yeah. Oh. It's, it's to make me look taller. Moving on. Question number eight, what is my favorite ice cream? Strawberry cheesecake from Ben and Jerry's. Yes. Question number nine, we are shopping. What store are we in? Earthbound. No. Target. You already got it wrong. But Target, yeah, that's that was the answer, but you got Dang it wrong. It. But I was yeah. close. Yeah. Like Minus Earthbound. one point. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you were on a roll. I'm so disappointed. Question number 10. Do I like hockey or football? Hockey. Okay. I like hockey more. Mm -hmm. I do like football. What is my favorite football team? It's gonna hurt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Whatever. Broncos. Denver <laughs> Broncos. Even though we absolutely sucked this year. Yeah, not very good. Neither were your team. Yeah, but... No, you can't talk. <laughs> I like hockey, obviously. So, what is my favorite hockey team? Did you like the LA Kings? Yes. What day did we meet? Oh my gosh. Um... I want to say January 7th. No. Oh, not even close. Yeah, kind of. The 10th? Yeah. Oh. How long were we friends before we dated? A year. 
No. Year and a half. You already got it wrong. Oh, come on. You can't fix Dang it. it. <laughs> yeah, it was a year and a half, but you got it wrong, so. Last question. How did we meet? What's the story? Well, I wasn't even, like, I wasn't really in the position of, like, getting into um, a long, like, any, any relationship. Mm -hmm. I was basically just so focusing on my relationship with God. Um, I was, go like, going through a rough time before that, um, before I rededicated, rededicated my life to, to Christ. Mm -hmm. A really good friend of mine got me connected to the church that we go to right now, and so I got got baptized there, and we start, I started serving at the creative team, which which broadcasts their sermons live on their website. I usually sit in like somewhere in the back row of the congregation, uh, but for some reason I just decided to sit in the front seat, just like the front row. I think it was like the third row. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay, well, you know, I think I'll just sit over here. So it's like about about ten minutes before the service started, and then all of a sudden I just see you walking towards uh, towards me, and um, I came walking in. You came walking in, <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of like scooted over a little bit. Then you're like, "Oh no, 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 you're fine. You can just you can sit there. It's fine." <laughs> apparently, I stole your spot. Actually. Apparently, <laughs> you didn't apparently steal my spot. You stole my spot. That was my spot. That was the best deal that you've ever experienced from me, wasn't it? I'm leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't wasn't really like looking into getting into a relationship at all, but but with you it was different because. Um, I just, <laughs> of course, I thought you were attractive, and... I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you want me to go on from here? I'll go on from here. Okay. He's getting emotional. I'm getting a little emotional. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> to go on with that, though, I walk in, he had stole my seat, even though he says apparently he stole my seat. He stole my seat. And so he started to move and I was like, oh no, like you're fine, you don't have to move. And so he kind of just stopped and he smiled at me and then we kind of just started putting stuff down and like, you know, getting ready to get comfortable, you know, before the service starts. I remember he, uh, he turned around shortly after I had gotten seated and he asked me what my name was and I told him and then we shook hands. He told me his name and then we basically started talking and then after a few months go by, we mutually just exchanged numbers where, you know, it was just a friend thing, you know, and uh, we weren't trying to, you know, start a relationship in that sense. I started having feelings for him. Uh, unfortunately, we could not start anything uh, relationship-wise because he was actually, I was still actually a minor, and he was not. He is four years older than me. He is 23 right now, and I'm 19. To he was 21 at the time, and I was 16 turning 17. So it was definitely a very, very difficult situation, especially as Christians and just as two people who've been raised in a household where we were taught, you know, that's not how you really do it. You need to wait, you need to be friends first. We were always raised in that sense. We were talking and I like, you know, I had feelings for him, but I was kind of denying it, you know, saying maybe it's just me, it's just me. And the reason why is because I had actually recently uh, gotten through a breakup. It was a very hard breakup for me because what ended up happening was is that I went away for a while and I came back to find out that he had been cheating on me. But I didn't find out until after I had gotten back and after we had broken up. And I had basically kind of given up on ever dating. And I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm not even going to date anymore. It's not even worth it. I'm done. Like, I'm going to wait till God sends me the right man in my life. I'm just going to focus on me and my relationship with God, just as he was. Little did we know, God had other plans. And he's like, okay, well, uh, slight change in things. Um, he stole your seat. I wanted to tell him so bad, but I was afraid that he was going to look at me differently. And I was afraid that he was going to be like, you know... I don't think this friend thing's gonna work out either because I just feel uncomfortable with the fact that you have feelings for me. We clicked really well. Like, we got along so mm -hmm. well. We, we still, did. we still get along so well. And so basically I had, you know, been going through the motions of whether or not I should tell him that I like him. And I was thinking, you know what? The worst thing that could happen is he could say that he doesn't feel the same way. And that's what I was thinking at the time. But I basically was deciding, you know what, I'm just gonna tell him. 
One day in church, I had sat down with him and we were talking and I basically said, hey, you know how I like someone? Well, it's you. <laughs> he had kind of a shock in his face, but at the same time, I think he knew already. And he did. He told me did, he did. Yeah. yeah. He knew I liked him. He just, it wasn't like 100% confirmed, you know? Plus, I didn't want to like make things awkward if I was wrong too. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, at the time, he told me that he did not feel the same way. He still kind of feels guilty about that, but it's okay. I do, I yeah. forgive you. <laughs> and I was bummed. I wasn't like, a, you know, devastated, of course, because we weren't like extremely close, you know, but we still wanted to keep each other in our lives. So I was like, you know, it's okay. Like, it, it, it'll be okay. You know what? I wasn't even planning on dating right now anyways. It's good. It's fine. You know, it's like, at least I still have him as a friend. The next day, I end up getting a text message from him, and we start talking a little bit, you know, just about, you know, how you're, how's your day going, casual stuff. And then he tells me that he lied. Like, what did you lie about? You're not really a man? Like, I don't know. But <laughs> I'm not really a man. He said, um, I lied when I told you that I didn't like you. I was like, well, what do I do with that? Alright, this is not worth it. You done? <laughs> <laughs> said it hurts. I did not raise you to be this way. Basically, he had told me that he liked me, and then we kind of started talking about it a little bit more, and then I was like, well, what now? Like, we're, at, okay, now we've come to terms that, you know, we have feelings for each other. What do we do with it? We had decided to wait till I had turned 18 and I was very surprised at the fact that he was willing to because I know a lot of guys who would not. His intentions were good. We're gonna leave it at that. Other guys I know, not very good intentions. I can't believe he's put up with me for a whole year. I mean, I'm freaking nuts. Oh boy. <laughs> Next week, my video is gonna be why I dumped my boyfriend. We're already a year in our, in our relationship and uh, moving on and looking forward to the future and I'm very, very excited. So that's how we met. So yeah. It was a long journey of keeping it in prayer and we're still, we're still keeping everything in prayer too. Yeah. We, uh, we try to engage into like, you know, Bible study mm -hmm. as much as, as much as we, uh, as we can and, you know, taking the time to get to know each other in a deeper level, you know, so it's, it's, it's really fun and. Well, you're, you're always, you're always learning something new about the course. person. Yeah. Like the person's changing and so are you and they're so, just because you've been with the person for a long time does not mean you know them. Preferences and views and pers their perspective change. Well, I've started a small business with a company called It Works. If you guys can see right there, I have a little box right there that says It Works on it. That's actually some products that I have, some samples that I can actually let people use or purchase personally from me in cash. We have all kinds of products such as facial products, greens for health, health supplements, workout products, weight loss products, all kinds of things like that. So go ahead and check it out. I will put the link to the website down below and also I will put my email down there if you guys have any questions about the site, about any products. If you go on the website and you purchase a product, it will ask you if you would like to become a loyal customer without paying the membership fee. I would suggest you press that button so you don't have to pay a $50 fee. If you become a loyal customer, you get 40% off on all purchases and you get monthly auto shipments every single month, which is awesome because you don't have to worry about going online and ordering it all over again. You can just get it on there, get it sent to your house. Every single month you're like, hey, my package is here again. Let's go. Let's use it. Mm. If you have any questions regarding the It Works products, anything else along those lines, go ahead and email the email address I will have in the description below. Thank you guys so much again for watching this channel watching this video, supporting me, the people who have subscribed. I would love it if you guys could subscribe. I would absolutely be completely happy. It would be the best birthday gift ever. My social media will be down in the description below. Go ahead and share this video with your friends and family. That would be awesome. And share it on your Facebook page, your Instagram page, your Twitter page. Send it to people you don't even know. That would be cool. Just protect yourself. Don't talk to any weirdos, okay? That would be, personally, don't do that. I want you to be safe because I care for people. That's why I'm on here. Once again, thank you guys so much. See you guys next time. God bless. Bye. It's my birthday. Oh yeah, it is your birthday. Yeah.